The Comprehensive Everglades Restoration Plan, or CERP, was authorized by Congress in 2000 as a plan to restore, preserve, and protect the South Florida ecosystem while providing for other water-related needs of the region, including water supply and flood protection. At a cost of more than $10.5 billion and with a 35-plus year timeline, this is the largest hydrologic restoration project ever undertaken in the United States. The Central and Southern Florida CNSF project was authorized 50 years ago to provide flood protection and fresh water to South Florida. This project accomplished its intended purpose and allowed people more easily to live on the land. It did so, however, at tremendous ecological cost to the Everglades. Due to the adverse effects, the plan is now being modified under the Comprehensive Everglades Restoration Plan. CERP provides a framework and guide to restore, protect, and preserve the water resources of central and southern Florida, including the Everglades. It covers 16 counties over an 18,000 square mile area and centers on an update of the Central and Southern Florida Project, also known as the Restudy. Water Resources Development Act provided the U.S. Army Corps of Eng Engineers with the authority to reevaluate the CNSF project and to recommend improvements and modifications to the project in order to restore the ecosystem. The goal of CERP is to capture fresh water that now flows unused to the ocean and the Gulf and redirect it to areas that need it most. The majority of the water will be devoted to environmental restoration, reviving a dying ecosystem. The remaining water will benefit cities and farmers by enhancing water supplies for the southern Florida economy. The Everglades ecosystem is nationally significant and a unique natural resource treasure of the world. If we do not act now, irretrievable loss of this extraordinary resource will occur. The remaining Everglades no longer exhibit the functions and richness that define the pre-drainage ecosystem. Total water storage, timing, flow patterns, and water quality within the greater Everglades ecosystem have been substantially altered. The comprehensive plan is intended to reverse the course of the declining health of the ecosystem. With the restoration of the hydrological and biological patterns which define the original Everglades and which make it unique among the world's wetland systems, the successfully restored ecosystem will once again exhibit the richness of biological diversity of the former Everglades. People started to affect the Everglades as early as the late 1800s, when primitive canals were dug to begin draining South Florida. These changes continued throughout the 20th century, as more as 1,700 miles of canals and levees vastly changed the landscape, interrupting the Everglades' natural sheet flow and sending valuable fresh water to sea. More than half of the Everglades' wetlands were lost to development. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas wrote about the problems of the Everglades in 1947, describing an ecosystem that was beautiful yet already clearly suffering. Just one year later, in 1948, a massive project to provide essential flood protection and water management to South Florida was approved. While the Central and Southern Florida project allowed the region's rapid growth, it worsened the Everglades' problems. Today, the CERP is taking steps to Restore the magnificent river of grass, capturing fresh water destined for the sea, the Everglades' lifeblood, and directing it back to the ecosystem to revitalize it. <laughs>